Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. I want to look at five reasons why one should become a commercial gas engineer and five reasons why one shouldn't. First of all, one of the reasons why one should become a gas engineer, one they should consider, is that when becoming a commercial gas engineer, you look at more technical aspects of the job. So there's things that you wouldn't have thought about before in the domestic world but when you become a commercial gas engineer there's certain aspects that you'll start to look into and see like for instance maybe you would never have heard of a pressurization unit before unless you become a commercial engineer or for instance you wouldn't think of thermal links or the fire safety circuit in a bms panel just certain things that you would never really be speak about much as a domestic engineer so it delves into different worlds. You can also delve into more electrics. You can also delve more into air conditioning, depending on which company you work for. But there's more avenue to develop other skills when you become a commercial engineer. Another thing, which is an obvious thing, is pay. But don't believe that just because you have your commercial tickets, that guarantees you better pay. Let's have a look here as an example. For a domestic gas engineer versus a commercial gas engineer in London, how much people are willing to pay roughly? So first of all, similar on one job here and also here. So we're seeing, they're saying between 36, 34, 38 as a domestic engineer, up to 40, sometimes 25. Okay, so 30, 40K domestic engineer, depending on experience and who it is you're working for. It's a commercial engineer looks a bit higher but starting out as a commercial engineer it can also start out low depending on experience so the thing is that when you become a commercial engineer there's no guarantee that you're going to get more money as a commercial engineer if you don't have experience or if you can't produce evidence or prove to them that you'll be able to produce the goods when you become the commercial engineer when you get that role so that can be a problem getting the ticket is one thing but actually being able to get experience is another thing so there's no guarantee that you're going to get more money straight away sometimes you may even have to take a pay cut just to get the experience so don't get any assumptions when you become a commercial engineer that you're going to get paid more money another positive is that you get to impact more people's lives when you're a commercial engineer more people are sort of depending on you to fix something in many cases when you're a commercial engineer so you may go to a building maybe a housing association or council building and there may be i don't know 200 flats waiting for you to fix the boiler or any sort of big building big establishment a school may need you so you are having an impact on more people's lives than going to one dwelling if that's an incentive for you another thing is you sometimes get to drive to nice locations outside of where you normally work when you are a domestic engineer you tend to be kept in a certain patch to an extent whereas when you become a commercial engineer depending on who you work for you could end up working in in all sorts of various locations and that might be good for you but it, you may not like that sometimes but it's nice to sometimes get out of the area you work in and um, so that could be a positive another thing is that there's less jobs there tends to be less jobs when you become a commercial engineer instead of you getting let's say for instance eight to twelve jobs a day as a domestic engineer i don't know how many you get but I recall working as a domestic engineer and getting eight to 12 jobs a day. Whereas as a commercial engineer, you can sometimes get one job a day or sometimes you can get up to three or four, depending on how keen you are or how much work there is. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's um, a positive that you don't get. You're not you don't have to run around as much as a commercial engineer. You can spend more time at one place. Negatives now. So it costs money to become a commercial gas engineer. It depends where you go. There's more pressure. So in some, for some people, they like that. That can be a positive. But for some people, that's a negative because you have more pressure to fix the problem. You can't just walk away from the job. In the domestic world, sometimes you could get away with not giving somebody heating for a few days. But in the commercial world, it's a lot harder to get away with that. So for some people, that might be a bonus. But I think for many, it would be a negative. There's also the driving aspect. Like I was saying earlier, that can be a positive for people. But I think for many people, that can be a negative that you have to drive long distances. Sometimes you have to drive. Your yeah, jobs can be a lot further apart, um, depending on where you work. If you work in a big city, maybe not so much. But if you work outside 
of a big city, you might have to do a lot of driving. And when I say a lot of driving, I mean approximately four hours of driving a day. You could be doing 200 miles a day, but other times you may only be doing 50 to 100 if you're working in a big city. Yeah, the experience one again, that can be a negative because you need the experience before you can get paid the right money or unless you you pick up things quickly um, or you can learn from a mentor or something quickly, it can take a long time to get the right money so that's a negative in transferring over but those were roughly the five positive things the five negative things that i felt were where you becoming a commercial engineer but i do believe personally from my own experience that i think the changeover is good it's nice when you do something domestic again as well now and then but overall i am glad that i became a commercial engineer i hope that you are happy as well and that it's working out for you it doesn't work out for everybody I've seen people go to training centres and and not pass or turn away and lose heart and not be interested in it. I've seen people pass and also try to get jobs and then takes them ages to get jobs because it's not offering the money they expected for all of the money they spent on the course, invested the time and money. They expected more so they wait longer. I've seen people get work and they can't produce the goods because they no one's training them and all they have is the gas ticket, but they don't actually have the experience and knowledge to repair things um, like more often than not. Okay, so that that was just the, a few positives I wanted to express to you about becoming a commercial engineer. It can be done, and it can be done successfully, and I hope um, all the best if you are trying to pursue a commercial gas engineer role. All right, thank you. Bye-bye-bye.